Well, good afternoon, everybody. I uh, I took the little baby steering wheel, the 10-inch, out of my F-150 and put it in my S-10. The only problem I have with it, it's a rather deep dish wheel. And it sticks into the uh, driver's compartment a bit much. So what I did is, I picked this one up off of Amazon. And it's basically same diameter. It's just a little more shallow of a dish. And I've got an installation kit that I picked up from Speedway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wheel off and put the other one on there and see how I feel about that. These things are pretty simple. If you're taking off a stock steering wheel, you just need to have a steering wheel puller that will get in there. Yank your old one out. Then you put your adapter on. You put your cup over top. And then you go ahead and mount your wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this one out and see what it looks like. And a lot of times what you'll have on these GM columns is if this were the factory steering wheel, there would usually be a clip over top of here that you need to take off. Usually snap ring pliers will get it out of your way. Your main nut holds your original steering wheel to the column. These three are part of the adapter kit for the grants and the other steering wheels like that so start by taking out the three small bolts and the big bolt normally what you'll have inside of the gm column this is the adapter for the grant steering wheel but there's usually going to be a greenish colored piece of plastic that would poke through here somebody already snapped this one off back before probably to try and get their aftermarket steering wheel to line up rather than go in and fiddle with the alignment but since I'm going to be putting front tie rod ends on this thing and getting the front end all squared away, I'm going to go ahead and install the wheel the way it should be. Not that I'll ever hook the horn up, just I don't use them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it the way it's supposed to be. Then when I do my tie rod ends, I'm going to bring everything back to where it's supposed to be. So the first thing you would do is you put your adapter on here and they're usually kind of loose. Then you put your cover plate on that covers up the end of the column. And if you look in there, you'll see the green thing is deep in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the wheel into place. Now if you're going to be running your horn button on there or hooking your horn up, don't forget to put this little piece on there. So you have to juggle this piece, your steering wheel, the backing plate, and then get that lined up with the three bolt holes. It can be a challenge. Um, but don't forget to put that in and I'm putting the spring in for the horn button even though the horn ain't hooked up I do have a black button that came with the wheel it'll just make it look better so I'm going to go ahead and pop that on there all right so uh that pretty much completes the swap over slash installation of a grant type steering wheel the only thing I really hate about new vehicles when you switch your steering wheel to something smaller is these obnoxious multi switches that they put in for wipers and crap like that i was totally cool with having all that on the dashboard someplace you know so now i got this big dumb thing sticking out the side um older cars it's easy you just cut the shaft off old chevy's fords fords actually screw in and out so they're nice to modify but uh yeah that'll wrap this up i'm happier with that it doesn't like stick as far into my driving area as the old one did so that wraps this one up i'll be doing some more work on this coming up uh got an idle issue i gotta deal with and oil change and stuff like that so those will all be coming up but until then y'all take it easy all hail internal combustion like and subscribe